Now, the 48th annual Steam and Gas Engine Show kicked off at the UP State Fairgrounds today. And TV6's Barbara Ballinger spoke with a show organizer about steam engines, and you'll see some history here, too. Boiled corn and more. The opening whistle and the tractor parade launched this weekend's 48th annual steam show. Organizers now say the show started to keep a piece of Americana protected. A bunch of guys got together in the 70s and decided that we should preserve some of the history, some of the old machinery, so some of the younger generations can see what, what happened, how things were done back before everything was a turn the key and go. Yoder says the event just keeps growing. Probably the last five years, the, the show has about doubled in size. There's more than 190 vendors lined up. Visitors can watch steam engines thrash grain and cut wood and have lunch. There's plenty of food here at the Steam Expo, including corn boiled with the help of a steam engine. First, you have to peel it, and then you can eat it. Be careful, it's hot. This is the uh, old Port Huron portable steam engine being used today to boil water that then in turn boils potatoes and cooks corn on the cob. Bill Rickards is exhibiting his 1913 60 horse steam tractor for the fourth time. He says the tractor can use a variety of fuel, just not gas. It can burn, right now it's burning uh, wood, but it can burn, uh, they burn Historically, they burn straw, and I've at times burned coal. By the time Saturday kicks off at 9 in the morning, Yoder expects four to 500 engines to be on display. The show will also feature barn dances Saturday and Sunday evenings and a steam engine spark show at 9 o'clock each night. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.